I have to say your character is amazing. And more importantly, your character sets the tone for the world at large. I mean, go, going through losses and pain and moving forward. I mean, can you tell us a little bit about Shay and, and you know, trying to define the cowboy, the 1883 in him? Well, I gather you've seen some of this. I have, yes. Interesting. Shay Brennan is like, to me, he's a troubled man, you know? He was a vet from the Civil War. He loses his family in the beginning of the show. He loses a lot of immigrants along the way. And I think all, although he's kind of a taskmaster on some level with them on that journey, I think he feels guilty for everybody that he loses. You yep. know, and he's on a mission. He's, he's on a journey. He's on a mission to make the Oregon coast. He's been to Oregon before. And he's on a mission to get to the Oregon coast, but I'm not going to say why he's on that mission. <laughs> well, uh, the one thing that I, I, I mean, I love about the show is, of course, you know, Yellowstone started all and then we go backwards to this. But this isn't really a pre-pre-Yellowstone so much as it's, it's, it's its own story in itself, right? Um, I mean, yeah. how, how, how do you set up 1883? Well, I'm, I'm happy to hear you say that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I won't say that it's tainted by it. It's certainly all part of the Yellowstone you know, franchise or whatever you want to call it, but it definitely stands on its own. I mean, it's a different story. It's a different world. It's a different time. It's a period piece. It's not modern day. The connection being, it shows how the Dettons or how John Dutton, I guess, is the character got to Montana in the first place. But, you know, we're, we're telling our own tale here. Taylor somehow came up with this piece that you know, have the Duttons get there. And I think the, the, the character that really ties it together, I don't, I don't see it as Shay Brennan that sets the tone as much as the girl, Elsa. She's almost the- Played, uh, played the by American. Isabel May, a 21 year old girl with her family on the Oregon Trail. And she's got this incredible voiceover that Taylor's written throughout the piece and it's very poetic and very telling in a lot of ways. And somehow that's the character to me that sets the tone. It's a little bit of the American dream right there, mm -hmm. I guess, too, mm -hmm. at the same tone. I 100% I see that. Uh, now, as someone who is, people would say, the ultimate cowboy in many ways, some of the roles you played, you know, what are some of the things you look for in a cowboy you play? Or maybe what are some of the things that maybe you really aligned with in this new cowboy role that you play now? Is it Pinkerton? Number one, yeah. I've been very lucky in my career that those roles have come my way. I, th I think looking for a bit of authenticity, which is just kind of an overused terms these days, term these days, is always part of what I'm looking for. Um, the material is, is, is what's all important to me and Taylor being the brilliant writer that he is spoke to me right off the top you know it's a it's it's a tough combination of things kind of to explain particularly since I just got off of an airplane last night <laughs> and off of, we're working six day a week so I'm going to answer this with, with an excuse of why I can't answer that question we're working six days a week, 12 hours a day, and we will be up until the end of it. We're shooting two units simultaneously. The show starts airing on the 19th of this month, and we are going to wrap up somewhere mid-January. So if you want to ask me that question again, maybe I'll come up with the answer I was thinking about. I think that's a great answer. And more importantly, you even told us just to get here, you had to go through a dust storm. To we did. We, get here, we so. got blown off the set yesterday down in the panhandle of Texas. And they kept telling us that this is a windy part of the country. But yesterday, we literally <laughs> saw this storm coming in and the wind was howling. I was supposed to have a very intimate scene with Elsa with Again, Miss May yesterday, and we were both thankful that they scrubbed the scene because it was a, we were both sitting on the ground in the scene, and it would have been super uncomfortable. Needless to say. All right. 
Well, I think the metaphor for grittiness is there. And that's what 1883 has as well as the, yeah. the moving forward, the life and the grittiness. And I got to say, I am excited beyond for everyone to see this show because it is its own world. And once they get into it, there's no way they're going to get off this trail. Uh, I think that's so as well. You know, it's really the, I think part of what I was trying to think of a minute ago is it's, it's the classic, you know, it, it's all mythic this American West and television and films and has been forever. It's got a worldwide audience. There's an attraction to it all across the globe. But on some level, the things that always stood out to me in any Western, there are three classic struggles and it's man against man, man against nature and man against himself. And I, th I think that those three ingredients are just 1883 is rife with that. Well, I want to thank you very much, sir. I have to let you go, but you. always a pleasure talking pleasure. with you. Yeah, thank you. Sure. It was Appreciate great. It. Thank you.